All right, so we're checking out the new HQ 31 millimeter ultra light prop. So these um, have been out for a little while. I know that um, a bunch of the, I guess, top racers over at Whiptopia, which was about a month ago, uh, were using these. And I don't know if they actually use these in the races. I did see some posts from them uh, on their whoops, and they seem to be fairly popular. Now, I wanted to give them a try myself to see how they felt in terms of differences compared to some other props I've used in the past. We'll talk about that in detail in this video, but I think we'll talk about um, specs first, you know, how much they weigh. Uh, obviously, this being the ultralight, I think this is currently the lightest uh, 31 millimeter propeller available. I think there's a new gem fan 31 millimeter uh, ultralight propeller that just came out uh, around the time of recording this video. I don't have a lot of details on that one or links where you can buy those. I'm not sure if they're widely available yet. And I think um, I was told they weigh a little bit more than these HQ ones. I might be mistaken on that one. So I don't have those, so there's no way for me to verify. But I've, that's what I've been hearing through the grapevine, that they're a little bit heavier than the HQ. So if you're looking for the lightest ones, these are the ones you want to take a look at. So um, they're available in, the, obviously, the smoke gray. The uh, HQ just sent me the green ones as well, and the pink ones. I don't know if other colors are available. I imagine there probably will be lots of other colors out there. I tested it on uh, this one here. This is, I don't think I've made a video about this one yet. It's um, a conversion obviously to pusher. This is the Mobula 6 Express LRS that came out maybe almost two years ago. And it sat on a shelf for a while, wasn't being used, and then um, I decided to turn it into a pusher. Um, didn't make a video about it, but I've just been flying it around, mainly with the uh, gem fan prop. So originally it came with the, I believe this bi-bladed prop. Oh, I'll, I'll show you the weights of everything later. This is the 1219 bi-blade. That's what I think originally came on the Mobula 6 Express LRS. And then I switched, when I converted it to the pusher, I, I switched over to this prop here. This is the 1208 jump fan tri-blade. And these are all uh, for the one millimeter prop shaft. Um, this was a good prop, a lot lighter than the prop that most people were flying tiny wheels on. This is the original, sort of the OG the uh, 1219 gem fan, obviously with the bull nose cut there, it comes in a lot of different colors. Of course, this is a clear version, and this was used by, for the longest time by a lot of pilots. So that's, um, I'll show you the weights of everything here shortly, but for those of you that are curious about this, this, yeah, this was the um, Mobula 6 Express LRS. I just uh, converted to a pusher, and then this is using the Meteor 65 airframe. Uh, when I was using the gem van 1208 props tri blades on here it weighed 17.8 grams and you can see here i put the pink version of the hq ultralight on here and now with these instead of the gem fans it's coming in at 17.6 grams so this scale isn't as it doesn't go to a lot of decimal places so it's not going to be super accurate in terms of the weight differences. So when we go to this, this is a more, I guess, a more detailed scale here. It goes out to three decimal places. We'll show you the weights of these different props. So just for comparison, we'll go back, we'll go start with the OG uh, Gem Van 1219 bullnose prop here. And we're gonna do them in sets of four here just to make things sort of easier to compare. So about one, 0.0809 grams about and this is the bi-blade gem fan coming in at 0.71 some 72 ish somewhere around there and this is the gem fan 1208 tri-blade and it's a little bit more 0.812 and here's the weight of the hq ultralight 0.64 so not quite 0.2 grams like point uh one five grams around one one six grams so definitely the lightest of the bunch i have 
All right, so in terms of the performance, just on this particular quad, this has the 0702 Happy Model uh, motors at 23,000 kV. This is uh, the the Gen 1, the red uh, belled 0702s. Um, I haven't yet tried them on the Gen 2 0702s. This is the um, Mobula 6 2024. The video is coming up on this one later on the channel. Uh, it's not available for sale yet, so that's why this video is not out yet. And I haven't tested the HQ prop on this setup yet. I've been flying around on the props it came with, which is the Gemfan 1208 Tri-Blade. Uh, but this is a Gen 2 motor, but this motor is 28,000 kV. So it'll be interesting to see how this HQ prop performs on a higher kV motor in terms of efficiency and performance. But I'm just gonna talk about how it performed on this specific setup here at this weight. I think this prop is gonna perform differently based on how heavy the quad is um, and the motor you're using and the KV of the motor you're using. I think the KV of the motor is gonna be pretty important. So I've always felt that on the Bi-Blade gem fan and this Tri-Blade uh, 1208, this 23,000 KV motor is a little bit underpowered at 17.8 grams. So obviously I could have uh, swapped out um, or cut the weight down even more by like getting rid of the plugs and direct soldering the motor wires to the board. I never got around to that. I haven't had time to do that, but I figured I could probably save maybe a gram by doing that to all four motors and getting it down to like 16 something. And then 23,000 23, kV will perform a little bit better in terms of overall power. Um, but yeah, I mean, I it's adequate for indoor flights in a small space. It's fast enough for me, I think. I think I think other people might find it's a little bit on the slow side. Uh, when I switched to the HQ props, I thought their performance was uh, slightly better. They, it, not huge. So I'm not like saying, oh, this is gonna be a, a night and day difference. At least on this KV, I'm kind of curious how it's gonna turn out on the higher KV motor. There's a lot of testing you have to do still, you know, trying it on a higher KV motor, maybe a different, uh, setup maybe a little bit heavier. The, uh, the props are going to perform slightly differently, and the efficiency is going to turn out a little bit differently based on weights and you know the setup. Now, uh, in terms of my indoor flying, you know, not going full throttle, uh, the Gemfan 1208 is a little bit more efficient. So I think my max amperage was like around five amps. Uh, I'll put up on your screen from the um, flights that I did, and then on the HQ prop the amps went up a little bit in terms of the uh, max amp drawn you know on an indoor on the same basically indoor track and it was like six amps so i could tell that the a little bit additional power i was getting that i could feel which i could feel especially in the turns uh was was basically you know turning into more current but uh, interestingly enough the overall flight time was roughly the same maybe just a little bit less on the hq so you know if you're not generally at the top end of the throttle all the time i think the efficiency is going to be about the same for you on these on these props while you have a little bit more control on some of the tighter turns that's how i felt at least on this particular setup now when i was trying to do like um full throttle punch out did some outdoor flying uh, just sort of try and get as close to full throttle as possible to see how that felt. The max amp draw, I think, on the gem fan, this tri blade was like 10 or 11 and was slightly higher on the HQ, roughly 11 or 12, somewhere around there. So just a little bit more. And I did notice that when, if you're mainly uh, at the high end of the throttle on this on this particular prop compared to the gem fan, uh, the gem fan definitely is uh, more efficient. So if you're definitely going full throttle a lot, the gem fan is going to give you a little bit more flight time compared to the HQ, but you're just going to have way more power on the HQ. Uh, I think that on a, on a lighter setup, if I get this weight down and this one here, maybe go to a higher KV motor, like um, say like 28,000, 3,000 KV, you can definitely do freestyle tricks with this prop on uh, the setup here for sure. Whereas you probably can't do as well on the HQ, or I'm sorry, on the gem fan, the 1208. Now again, I don't have the new, there's a new gem fan, I think it's a 1217 Tri-Blade Ultralight. I don't have that and I don't know where to get that. So if anyone knows where that's being currently sold, I just seen some posts here and there, but I haven't been able to find it at any store yet. So if anyone knows where that is currently being sold, I do want to get my hands on that as well for this comparison. 
uh, let me know in the comments below where I can pick those up. Okay, so here's the gem van on the right and the HQ on the left. And I think you can kind of see here that the pitch of the HQ prop, at least at the base, is definitely more aggressive. Um, that's probably where the extra power is coming from and also where the extra current draw is coming from. Where it tapers off at the end, it's pretty... Uh, the HQ is also slightly more aggressive than the gem fan. So you can get an idea of where that extra power is coming from. Is the, uh, the pitch of the prop, I think that's where it comes from. And, uh, in terms of the noise, they're pretty much about the same. I can't tell that much difference between the two. If you guys are wondering in terms of like how loud they are, they seem to be about the same to me. So if you look at the hub of the prop, this is probably where the weight difference is coming in. It's You can see the gem fan is quite a bit larger on the right. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be stronger or weaker in the long run. Hard to say. I have crashed this quite a bit, the HQ, and it hasn't broken yet. So, um, yeah, we'll have to see. Only time will tell, but... Uh, the hub on the HQ is definitely a lot smaller, and that's also where the, the blade attaches to. So typically, you know, if that's a weak point, the blade will pop off there when, when you crash. But just looking at how rigid the prop is here, it's it's very thin. So that's the thing. That's another thing about the, the weight of this prop is it's a, I don't know what kind of polycarbonate they're using here, but it's, it's very very thin. It, it's flexible, but not too flexible. It's I think for 31 millimeter propeller, it's stiff enough. And, um, you know, not, but it's not quite as stiff as the gem fan. Gem fan's a, this, this blade's a little bit thicker, so it's quite a bit more stiff. While the uh, HQ does bend a bit more, especially at the tip. If you hold it in the middle here, the tip definitely bends quite a bit more than the gem fan prop here. It, and it's hard, hard to show on camera, but it just when you kind of push it on, you can kind of feel that it is a lot thinner and a lot more flexible than the gem fan prop. Anyway, those are my findings so far on this propeller. I obviously need to do a lot more testing in different setups. You know, um, it's hard to say which one's going to be better for you. Uh, it kind of depends on how you fly and what kind of power you like and efficiency you like. So, you know, based on the things I've said, you know, if you're looking for more flight time, don't care about the weight so much, the jump fan's probably fine. If you want a little bit more performance, uh, less weight overall, if you're going for like, you know, a 15 gram build perhaps, or even less, uh, something crazy like 14 grams, you're probably going to get a lot more performance out of the um, HQ. Probably at the expense of a little bit of flight time, and you're probably going to need some good batteries, of course, for the higher current draw. Um, but I think that you, at the end of the day, you're probably going to want the HQ prop, especially if you're a competitive racer. Uh, I think it's definitely worth trying out, checking it out, at least buying a few of these. They're not that expensive. I think they're like three bucks for a set and giving them a try and see how you like them compared to uh, some of the other props that you've used. Because there's, there's quite a bit of props that out there now in the market for 31 millimeter, you know, or they're 65 millimeter tiny whoops. And this is definitely, I think, worth a look if you're considering um, doing a lot of tiny whip racing. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description to this down, prop down in the video description if you guys want to check it out. Again, let me know in your comments what you guys think of this prop and what you might kind of want to use it for and what your target sort of setup would be for this prop. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. That'll do it for this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.